coming back from a shoulder injury. And five starts back. His first pitch is in there for a strike and a win. Start his 14th game against Chicago. Really good his last time out at Wrigley Field. Six times tonight. Another night game tomorrow. We'll start an hour earlier tomorrow night, Saturday night. And then a day end with a record of 54 and 71. Third place in the division. The Brewers are second. Six games feel like a playoff game. It already kind of feels that way. The way the Brewers have been playing after the All Star break. And they need one of those. Uh... And Peralta deals and a line shot in the left center. Yelich is right there. Had him well positioned. And that's the crew chief, Jeff Nelson. He's over third. Wilson Contreras and then didn't play at all in the Cardinals series. Back tonight. Not only is he back, but he's catching tonight. And these two teams met. Big swing out of this. I love Vinny as well. He almost dares you to pitch him inside. That's where you have to pitch him. He gets hit a lot. Walks. Peralta has struck him out four times. And a little roll over ground ball. Nice and easy for Adamas. And there is out number two. Their career matchups against one another. And on the first pitch, Hap with a ground ball. Bobbled. Adamas recovers and throws him out. Games with a left elbow injury had a PRP injection on that elbow. Just returned from a minor league rehab with the Wisconsin Timber Rat. But was really good to see some live pitching, get some at bats, and get his get his legs under him defensively as well. And so Craig Council says getting get Jace Peterson back. And at the time of the injury, they were originally told it would be a two to three month timeline for that injury to fully heal to have him back here with the team, guys. And if he's not going to start against the left-hander Steele, but yeah. Suzuki into right field and Renfro is there to make the catch. Well done having to battle the battle this uh, PRP procedure, which is a fascinating procedure as from Mil Reyes. Whatever they do with it and put it back in where the injured area is, and it kind of promotes um, a regeneration or a health, a healthier injury. A lot of players out of surgery. And something that has worked really well over the last. No, I'm not playing Major League Baseball, but <laughs> I was shocked. The pain was almost a uh, couple of weeks. Hey, I'm laughing with I, you. I know, man. I'm with. It's uh, you know, <laughs> we go through it. We we were the test dummies. Yeah. No, it's a good deal. It's By amazing. the way, as legacy, he will leave here. He's still going to work for the Brewers as a consultant, but. Uh, a real uh, trailblazer, trendsetter, and he is going to retire. Yeah, I remember when Roger was a uh, after players that have come from other places. They always rave about their strength coach, Josh Seligman, Teresa Lau, Dave Yeager, and Scott Berenger. The job they yeah, have. that's the thing. I mean, guys do not want to be on the injured list. There's a broken back. Got a chance to turn it. Urias to second out there. Here is throw, not in time. And having to keep your feet down and no pop up, no rollovers, no at second base. Wish they had that when I was playing. <laughs> Although you were one of those big old five pound Reyes. That would have been a no contest. Runner takes off, 0 2 pitch. Called the ball, throw to second, and not in time. He's in there. Corner just got a hand in there. Differences in the curveball. Yeah, it's all about uh, you know keeping hitters off balance. You know, it's not just to think about what a hitter has to think about when he's up there at the plate. Both curveballs, but 10 miles an hour different. That's a lot to cover. Can uh, shape it differently, throw a different velocities. That one comes in at 70 file. Yeah. The Rockford files. There you go. Good stuff though. I mean that's all. three balls and a strike to count Zach McKinstry at the plate fly ball left field routine for Yelich if it ever comes down and he's got it for out no better time to be in the upper Midwest strike call Higgins got to get started first base and that fastball And he swings and lifts out into left field, hooking. 
Yelich will watch it into the seat. Need to win the night. Need them all at this point. Brewers in a battle right now. And a swing and a miss. There you go, Rock. There's that curve. First strikeout for Peralta. Brings up Morell. This guy's had some big hits against the Brewers. Go ahead, Homer. One of his bigger hits has a cup. He's played all over. He's a shortstop by versatile player. A swing and a foul. He took a mighty rip. Two and two the count. Yeah, he struck out 97 times. He does take a big hack. He struck out a lot. And he does. And he got him again. That big curveball. Look at the difference in that. On a Friday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we welcome you. Scoreless game after three innings. And then a couple of innings. I haven't pushed one across the pay station just yet. Meanwhile, Peralta has been very efficient. One and one to count. Magical, the leadoff hitter for the Cubs. Fly ball into center field. Taylor is there to make the play for the out. And that's a down a couple of ticks. He earned the nickname Fastball Freddy to Curveball Fred. Here's the 0 1, and Contreras takes a ball. He just uh, 1 and 1 to count. And a wave and a miss. Man, that curveball is Contreras way out in front of it. Early to make sure it didn't turn into something more significant. A lot of players want a big contributor here at the end of the season. 3 2 pitch, he goes. Oh, yeah. Contreras is down on strike. C.B. Buckner called it. Only one base runner against Peralta. That was a walk in the second. As Happ, who swung at the first pitch his last time up, takes out one for 18 in his career against Peralta. And a cue shot foul on ball one. But as you saw with Peralta and Contreras, he dropped one on Contreras. And another change up, pop up to Adamas. Had him way out in front of it. Freddy Peralta has got a roll in the night. I believe that left from the same spot in his hand. Good job by the crew in there, giving you an idea what the hitters are dealing with. And he opens up with his curveball right now. That's not normally the story for Peralta. It's a fastball that misses high, no swing. Interesting grip, though, right? He's got a baseball. Swing and a foul. There's another curveball. To go along with a changeup. Suzuki flies to right. Renfro got a long way to go. Slicing and foul. Tiny little uh, foul area down the line as Suzuki pulls that one foul. He broke his leg, remember Rocky was yeah. playing for the Braves. Yeah. Matt Diaz. Let's see what Peralta has in mind for him here. And a bouncing ball, a hot one. Nice play by Arias. And the throw in time. And he's been terrific at third base. Anywhere you put him, third base. Excellent play by the Brewer third baseman. From Mil Reyes now. He takes strike one. Next batter hit a ground ball. Ended up as a 5-4 as a four, four sound. Four to third. Three Ks, one walk. And a bouncing ball. Foul. Just missed the bag. As their designated hitter. That's a good take right there. Good changeup. On the ground. Hey, what a play by Telez. Oh. Two gone. Here's Nico Horner. A strike in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a circle around. Right. That's a bit generous. I'm a generous guy. Fly ball in the left field. Yelich on the run is there. He'll make the play. Three up, three down. I want to put a star on that one, too. He has faced the minimum. Zach McKinstry will lead off. First ball swinging. Fly ball into left center. 
And Yelich will make the call and the catch. One pitch and one up. Peralta's had a terrific curveball going all night. Fastball's down a few, I think, if he had nothing else going. Now he's got that one going, and that's all that's mattered tonight. 0 2 the count. Ball. If he wasn't throwing a curveball for strikes, it would be a different story. Cubs first baseman at the plate, hitting eighth in their lineup. And Higgins takes a call, strike three. Surprised him with the gas. Yep, he was thinking curveball, he struck out on the curveball. Last one with this guy. And Morrell lets it loose. Man, right down the middle with a fat. Brewers have a shift on. And Morrell, a little defensive swing that time, chased a high fastball. Peralta trying to go quickly through the Cubs order in the six. One and two, the count. Here he comes. And a bouncing ball foul for a lifetime. Asked for timeout with two strikes. Big curveball. Down he goes.